Well, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Such a pleasure to be with you here today. I want to tell you about something pleasant and delightful. So, who are we and what message do we have for you? Uh, four years we are selling anonymous eSIMs to the Bitcoin community. We provide mobile telecom services in 160 countries of the world. KYC free, all aligned with the values of Bitcoin community, for Bitcoin community, 24 hours a day. Um, yeah. Uh, so, a lot of people here are already our users. Uh, I hope they are happy users. And these people know who they are, but we don't know who they are. Now to our message. We were a pretty normal uh, travel eSIM reseller from Russia. Just five years ago, we watched Bitcoin appear, then it lived for five years, then it lived for 10 years, and when, then we realized that now we can transact with other people all around the world uh, without intermediaries, permissionless. If this words resonate with you on any level, you might understand the emotions that we had in the midst of uh, corona pandemic, we understood that our business model is ripe for reconsideration. So, I'm here to tell you how to make money in Bitcoin, the easy way. Because uh, when I was uh, saying that I'm going to tell how to make money in Bitcoin, uh, people were asking if I'm going to talk about mining. No. Mining is making money in Bitcoin the hard way. It's dust, it's heat, it's heavy equipment, it's low margin. It's a hard way to do money in Bitcoin. Being a Bitcoin merchant is an easy and pleasant way to, to make money in Bitcoin. Because you are selling to like-minded individuals. You can tailor-made your products to the audience that you care about. Uh, and arguably, the only two things that you need to do that is an instance of BTC Pay Server and a Twitter account. Now it's also Nostr. Why? Of course, uh, almost all the Bitcoiners are on Twitter, so Twitter gives us uh, the free way to communicate with all the community. Also, it implies that your product is uh, top, because uh, if it's not, then the world will uh, get uh, out pretty quickly and your reputation is ruined. You don't want this. A friendly advice, if you are on this path, you might want to embrace Linux. Linux is user-friendly, it just uses, uh, chooses its friends carefully. The difference between the first-class users of Internet and the second-class users of Internet is exactly this. If you can use servers, you are the first-class citizen. If you can use just mobile and desktop, you are a second-class citizen. Learn how to use servers. Servers run Linux. It's not hard. It's made by the people, for the people. It's a great toy, and it also works. A rare combination. A couple of words about BTC Pay Server. BTC Pay Server is a state-of-the-art piece of software, despite us being written in C-sharp. Uh, does absolutely everything for us. 
might do everything for you as well. It generates addresses. It generates invoices. It does reporting. Everything that a merchant needs to have to do business. Uh, also provides the nice uh, checkout user interface. Uh, can manage payouts. Uh, you run it on your own server. It's like owning the bank and the payment processor at the same time. Every payment comes directly to you. If you set it up the same way, it goes to a watch-only wallet. So the security is on top. You do not need to withdraw money from payment processors. You don't need to prove uh, how you got it. Nothing like that. Fully self-sovereign way to earn money. Uh, BTC Pay Server can accept multiple currencies. What currencies would you want to accept? For us, it's Bitcoin, Lightning, also Bitcoin, and Monero. Why Monero? We resisted it for uh, like a year and a half, but the Monero community was uh, so persistent that we finally deployed the Monero tech to our uh, payment processor. We never look back. It really works. It has some quirks. Uh, we would not uh, use Monero as a long-term store of value, but it works as a payment system. For us, it's more like um, an alternative to Lightning than to Bitcoin, so we are happy Bitcoin maxis that use Monero to accept payments. The distribution at the moment looks like this. So it's uh, almost 50% uh, in Monero. We cannot sacrifice it. Uh, a couple of words about accepting shit coins. People have some money in shit coins. You might want to accept it. You do not need to deal with it. We integrated Trocador plugin. Uh, every time someone wants to pay us in uh, some shit coin or in some stable coin, it creates a swap, we get what we can process, and everybody is happy. Uh, a couple of words about Lightning. Uh, you might have heard that li running Lightning node is hard. Uh, that is not completely true. It's true only in the case that you want to route other people payments and you want to make money on it. It's a hard way to, uh, to earn Bitcoin. We don't do it. We just care about accepting inbound payments and what we discovered. You don't need to do any maintenance at all. You do not need to do rebalancing. You do not need to manage liquidity. People naturally open channels to you and raise your node's capacity. Really, I talk to people who run Lightning nodes uh, as merchants or accepting donations f for years without maintenance. So before you decide to use some external service, LSP or something like that, uh, please consider doing it yourself. It will save you time and money. Uh, Actually, when you decide if you need an LSP or maybe service by async, Phoenix, uh, it's pretty simple. If you have uh, 0.3 to 0.5 Bitcoin, you can easily open an initial set of channels. How you do it is very simple. You open the first channel to some mobile wallet provider like async, for example, for Phoenix, uh, wallet of Satoshi or something. Now you have a channel with all the liquidity on your end. You need the liquidity on the other end because you are uh, going to receive inbound payments. 
What you do is you use a swap service like Bolts or Lightning Loop or Dizzy or any other. Uh, you just swap all the funds you can spend from this channel back to your on-chain wallet. Now you have liquidity on the other side. You are ready to accept payments and you have money in your on-chain wallet. You can open the second channel, rinse and repeat until you have used all your initial stash and now you have uh, several channels open to major wallet providers and some other well-connected nodes and all the liquidity is inbound. You can accept payments. If you are a merchant, you don't really need to keep money in Lightning pretty much at all. What does it mean? It means that uh, you can lower the security requirements for a Lightning node because you do not keep a lot of money in it. It just works for you. It interests nobody. At the same time, if your security is breached and uh, someone owns your server, you know it immediately because uh, the adversary will just spend your wallet. You can rebuild your security and continue from there. Very, very, very convenient. Now, uh, as long as we do not get pretty much any KYC information or any information from our customers, but the, we give them sensitive information in terms of uh, identifiers, phone numbers, we need to take care about it. We cannot trust uh, open channels when we provide support. So we integrated matrix protocol into our service. We run pretty much all communications on matrix. We use it instead of email. Uh, we use it for all internal messaging and we also use it for uh, our remote support stuff. So every support operator is authenticated. All the communication is end-to-end -end encrypted. Uh, very convenient, very reliable, and it's also a self-sovereign solution that you run on your own server. Uh, but it's federated, so you can uh, receive messages from people from anywhere on the Internet. There are people uh, that might think, uh, and, we, and we run bots on it. So we do business automation. Uh, bots just print out information in chats and we not, do not need to build uh, back office, nothing like that. People might say we can do the same on Telegram. Please, please do not. Do not do it on Telegram. Uh, people that think that this male model Durov is the guy who runs Telegram, please wake up. It's not reality. It's a state level operation. There is no encryption there at all. All the information is in the open. It's not even a messaging platform. It's a surveillance platform. It's a surveillance platform. Do you realize how Telegram is translated from Latin to English? Tele means remote. Gram means recording. Ukraine is trying to fight a war while their citizens are all on Telegram. That's insane. That's insane and very heartbreaking. And when Bitcoiners are using Telegram, well, I'm not sure it's a good idea if you are building your generational wealth and your all social graph, all your communications is in the open. I don't think it's a good idea. So please, please, ditch Telegram, maybe change your phone, maybe 
change your computer because they could run code on your hardware. Maybe change your social circle, maybe change your place of living, but we are all in unsafe situation until all the Bitcoin community is using Telegram. That's pretty much insane. Uh, here I wrap up. Uh, this is the content information. Let's continue the, uh, our communication there. You might have some questions about our service. We are active on Twitter. Uh, we run a Nostra account. If you have any questions, please address them to Matrix. Uh, that's pretty much it. Please, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. company ready for the next evolution in financial strategy? Bitcoin for Corporations is your partner in securing the future of your business. With exclusive membership benefits, our comprehensive masterclass, and a network of trusted service providers, we provide the insights and resources to help you incorporate Bitcoin into your financial strategy, ensuring stability and long-term value. Strengthen your business. Innovate with confidence. Bitcoin for Corporations, protecting your treasury and positioning you for the future.